Hello to the instruction on how to use the instant box camera with direct positive paper. We have a separate video on regular usage that's more in detail on how the camera works. The direct positive paper is another option you can use with the camera. Now the advantage is that you don't have to do the negative positive process. Photographing first the negative, re-photographing it as a positive. Direct positive paper is a little bit more expensive, but it has its own qualities. Uh, I have some old stock here that I bought many years ago. You can see it's still taped up and I have some marks on it, what kind of exposure and what kind of ISO I'm using. That's usually sort of my, my habit to make notes on the paper. It's maybe a good habit to pick up. Um, I loaded it in and we'll see if it still works. It's about, let's say, 12 years old. So direct positive paper is usually more contrasted. So we have very strong blacks and uh, you create unique photos because you only have one shot and you have a single photograph afterwards. The process is of course the same as with other paper. We first focus, I open up, open up my aperture, look inside, I focus, yep, set my mark, good. Close it. I'm going to photograph with aperture 8. I'm going to set that. Now I'm going to load my paper. Pick it out from my paper box. Put it into the negative holder. Put it in. All right, it's loaded. And I'm going to expose with my timer. I think two seconds. But I'm going to verify with my app, putting in ISO 3. I still think it could sometimes be, could be 4 also, but I'm going to go for 3. Aperture 8, and it's 1 second. Now this is an older paper, so I expect it to be a little bit soft. That means that the blacks will not be so strong anymore. All right. I'm going to... Take paper out of my box and into the holder. Holder is closed. Taking my timer and one second. One closed. That should be okay. As always, with the instant box camera, taking it out of the negative holder and placing it into the developer first. It's in there now and I'm going to agitate and move it. Now this paper is actually in the original size too big for the instant box camera. So what I do, I cut it in half and we have two sort of size holders for the instant box camera that are exactly half of the standard paper. So the first holder is half and the second holder is quarter of this standard sized paper. So it's really economical because direct positive paper is expensive. So using half of it, you can get double the amount of photographs. All right, I'm gonna take it into the fixer now. It's in there, I'm gonna shake it a bit as well. And let's see how that goes. This is a resin coated paper but there is of course also fiber-based paper for direct positive. Shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. All right, that should do. Really curious to see if this old paper is still all right. And yeah, there's still something on it. As expected, it is a little bit soft. It still works the paper after 12 years in the box open, but it's a bit soft. We can see it on the black parts and also the slight spotting that we have here. That's because of the age of the paper, but still, still working for 12 years old paper. So that's how you use the instant box camera with direct positive paper, similar to the negative positive process, but you just have a single shot of course, and one unique image. So that is sort of a positive and a minus because it's unique, so it makes it special. But of course you can't reproduce it, which is the advantage of the negative positive process. All right, that's how you do it.
the instant box camera with direct positive paper.